What's up, all you mentees? This is the Uncanny Omar with... Astonishing Melanie. And together, we're taking an advanced look at the latest printing of the Silver Surfer by Dan Slott and Mike Alred Omnibus from... Marvel Comics! And it's here to hypnotize you. Are you hypnotized yet? Please stay tuned! Thank you to David Gabriel and the fine folks at Marvel for sending us this advanced copy to compare and review. So this version of Silver Surfer by Dan Slott and Mike Alred is due out in the direct market and the book market on March 7th or 8th, depending on where you get your books. And speaking of direct market, that is the cover here on the right hand side. Well, on the only side so far. And on your left is the standard edition, and notice the difference in the spines. Now, Astonishing Melanie, what have we learned about the different dust jackets? Does that matter? Is the inside of the book any different? Yes. Maybe. No. No. Not at all. Did I don't you, know. Did you not pay attention <laughs> to the last video we did? Everything else on the inside is the same. The content and page count is identical. So, let's shift the focus back to this. And as a matter of fact, we'll be doing a comparison to the original printing. Now, you and I actually did an overview. It was a retro mm -hmm. view of the Silver Surfer a couple of years ago. So if you want to go back and check out that video, that one's still non-spoilery. This time around, we're basically just doing a comparison video. We'll talk just a little bit about why we love this story without going too much into details. But just in case, if you just want to go jump into the comparison, I'll put the timestamps in the description of the video. And yes, check out that other video that we did not spoil anything. So, on the left-hand side is the original printing. That's the one that came out in 2018. The original printing on the left was printed with the Donley printer, and on the right, the iMac. Original printing was $75, the new printing $100. And both, you know, same uh, content, rated teen, plus. plus. And both dust jackets were drawn by Mike Alred, and the colors are by his phenomenal wife, the very talented Laura Alred. And underneath the dust jacket. And I was waiting for the Legend of Zelda sound. Oh, was. I'm so sorry. Um, so what I first noticed here is that the art is, oh, I'm sorry, the art is enlarged over here. It's not shrunken over here. Mm -hmm. um, Cause we've got this little dude, but he's cut off right there. Yeah, there's more of the planet down there than over here in the corner. Uh, which is the same thing that we notice in the Spider-Man versus Venom omnibus. The artwork seems to be zoomed in just a little bit. And even on the back with Eternity back there and the Queen Neverwhere. Yeah, you can see that Rocket is cut off right there. And Adam Warlock is cut off. So, But the image is the same. Not identical, but it's the exact same image that they used for the original printing, which which is the same image that you find in the dust jacket. And speaking of dust jacket, here's what the flaps look like. You can see that there's dots and the, the creators over here on the right hand side, you can see that they're dots. It looks like light bright, right? And there is a significance to those, but I might get into spoilers. All right, we're gonna crack this open really quick, tell you a little bit of the premise. I mean, really quick and focus more on the comparison to the original printing. So let's crack this open and I'll let you know what it collects. Oh, please do. Silver Surfer 2014, one through 15, all new Marvel now point one, one. Silver Surfer story, Silver Surfer 2016, one through 14. Love that Francesco Francavilla ve uh, variant right there. And here he is with this very important lady. So. Um, Don Greenwood, mm -hmm. and I'll tell you, if you are a fan of the Doctor Who series, you're going to love this story. Yes. So the pitch for this is about Silver Surfer coming back to Earth and pretty much a acquiring a companion. In the past, he's had a close relationship with Alicia Masters, but now he's kind of separated a little of himself from Earth. And you know, he's always been like the stoic type of character, and this is so different. This is why I say this is always a really good jumping on point if you want to get to know the story of Norn and Rad 
and his surfboard and who he is. Man, just looking at it, I want to read it again. Yeah, the, the all every single bit of artwork in here is drawn by Mike Alred and the colors are all by Laura Alred. It has a very poppy, like 60s feel to it, a classic feel like Roy uh, That's a lot of um, heart and character. Yes, there's a Eisner Award winning issue in here, which I think we talked about. I, I don't ever really go back and watch our old videos, but that one I... I kind of completely forgot that we did a, a review of it or a retro view of it. So when I found it, I was like, oh, I guess I did one. Oh, and it's with my wife. And I think we got more into the story without going into spoilers. But So um, as you can see that uh, Silver Surfer, yeah, he was spending a little bit of time on Earth actually powering down, so to speak, and in eating. Um, and then she goes off and travels with him in space as well. So this introduces you to the character of Silver Surfer by using her as the reader's eyes, right? Like her point of view. And it's it's a really cute relationship because there's like to kind of give you an example of the relationship they have. He took her tonsils out just there and she demanded ice cream. Okay. Um, I was she named his surfboard, right? And it was a cute little name that she gave it she called it to me because he keeps saying to, to me. me my board and <laughs> she thought that to me was a good name and oh my gosh the colors and the colors are so important in here the way that this story just comes full circle not just in the story but also the artwork oh it's so beautiful and yeah i um i shed some tears at the end of this one this is one of my favorite books standalone a hundred percent you don't need to read anything about the silver surfer afterwards of course you'll want to and you don't need to read any of the stories that came before but you'll want to uh there's such a deep history here and kind of gives you an idea of what he was before he became the herald of galactus why he was out in space brooding so long mm -hmm. we're gonna show you just a little bit of this one issue we probably showed it the last time but and it is this issue right here the never after with the Never Queen right here, where the story splits in the two. And I remember when we did an old reader, new reader on this one, Maddie and Amanda were talking about how the digital, they were so confused because it doesn't do this. So this is the only way to read the story as it was intended in the single issues in in this format, or I guess the trade So paperbacks. it's not upside down in the digital down here? Is no, it? they said they flipped it. So, But it's so much better to read the stories at the same time the you know the pages at the same time to find out and then how they're connected later on i love that this is such a cool story it's like the hawkeye uh, pizza dog issue and let's welcome everybody back because that's it that's all we really wanted to say we'll focus more on the um, comparison but let's welcome everybody back that doesn't like spoilers and look at the back matter um there is a goodbye letter here from dan slot and mike alred after they wrapped up the series and the variants back here including the ridiculous deadpool variant silver sloth <laughs> oh that's cool and overviews but you also saw some variants in between issues they're not there's all issue the 11 right isn't that I believe it so yeah yeah end to end in this hallway at home <laughs> And Dawn designs right there. I'm so glad they went with the ladybug colors. And the original piece of art that was in the omnibus. Again, used for the standard edition. Dawn touching his butt. Uh, she is touching to me. Original pages by Mike Alred. And then a little bio on the creator's dance slot, Mike Alred and Laura Alred. Now we'll look at the binding. Here's the new binding, it's sewn. And it is 688 pages, the same page count as the original printing. And? Original printing, and um, similar to... Uh, Spider-Man versus Venom. Spider-Man versus Venom. <laughs> this uh, original printing has a triangular uh, look to it. And, a lot uh, more sharp, mm -hmm. right? So let's compare the way that the books lay over and of course the paper. Original printing, new printing. <laughs> The new printing has more of a bluish tone than this purplish right here mm -hmm. on the background. Even though Galactus looks the same. He's a little bit lighter here. The this end paper lighter. Mm -hmm, looks different from the Donley printer than the iMac printer. And let's compare this right here. Let's go. Yeah, where you have it. Yeah. 
Looks like, well, maybe the same amount of bleed through. Mm, yeah, I think so. Let's look at this page. Uh, blacks look just as good. The contrast looks the same. And just, well, um, let's look at a paper. The frames are around the covers, just like in the original version. The font is the same here for the title of the issue. And yes, there is a little bleed through on both of them. But the way the book lays over the new printing is different than the way that that looks because of the binding, or rather the eye. Okay, so I figured we look at this page right here, the spread page, because there is plenty of white so you can see if there's bleed through. This is usually where you can tell. And honestly, oh my goodness, actually the original say, printing more has more side. bleed through. I didn't feel the paper quality. Oh, oh, let me feel, let me feel. <laughs> this is no fun, believe me. This one's a tiny bit thicker? It is. But, but then there was more But there's more, more bleed through bleed right there. Than and then this here. one is lying down. Uh, yeah, whereas this one, one has to be held down because of the way that the book is bound down here with that eye. Uh, let's look and to showcase this issue right here where there's a lot of spread pages, the way the original printing lays and the new printing, a little bit more of a gutter curve. So we'll do one more page for comparison, just comparing the way that this lays over again. Even the internal colors look blue compared to the purplish right there. And as Melanie pointed out earlier, there's more bleed through from the original printing than the new printing, as you can probably tell here. At least, it sh I hope it shows up on the video. Uh, but that's it. I wanted to do a quick comparison. That, as they say, is that. If you're interested in purchasing this book, please check out our sponsors. If you're in Europe and you're interested in buying these books, definitely check out Walt's Comic Shop in Berlin, Germany. They have the cheapest pre-order prices, flat shipping rate of 12 euros for all EU countries, emails answer within 24 hours, waltzcomicshop.com, and you can use the code near mint condition at checkout and get free shipping for all EU countries with your first order over 40 euros. That's Walt's Comic Shop, your reliable source for omnis and premium collected editions in Europe. Ding! CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. They have excellent shipping and prompt and helpful service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And don't forget that CGN also takes pre-orders. That way you don't miss out on the hottest releases. And they are currently running a special promotion for you Minties. If you're a first-time customer, after receiving your order confirmation email, reply back to that email and let them know Near Mint Condition sent you their way. They will then apply a free shipping promotional credit to your next order in the US. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discount, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. That was the page count, build, and content of this omnibus. Let us know in the comments down below if you have been waiting for this omnibus, if you've voted for the reprint, if you've never read it, you're going in completely blind. If you've read it, what did you think of this run? And what other Silver Surfer stories would you like to see in this format? So everyone hit that like button on the way out. Check out our Patreon. It's in the link in the description. And in the link in the description, is that right? No, the link is in the description of the video is what I meant mm -hmm. to say. Mm -hmm. Everyone stay healthy and safe out there. Much love. Stay minty.